fucking Tiffany thought her tits were bigger than mine. I mean, dude, these are done by the best <laughs> fucking doctor. Shut up. Can't you ever talk about something else besides your fake tits? if we don't at least check. Fine, fucking whatever. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Amy, this is so fucking stupid. You probably just hit some animal that crawled off and forced to die. You'll come back and get us? It's near a, it's near a hotel. A blinking neon light of a running man. Please come back and get us. Fuck! Hate this phone! Won't Brad, Tiffany, and Carl coming back? They better. Meantime, let's just stay here, okay? Hello, lovable lovelies. I'm a localer here in town, and I noticed you're having some car trouble. I was wondering if I might be of some service. Look, our friends are coming, thanks. That's purely speculation. Even so, for you, miss. Thanks. And for you, <gasps> tulipies. Wow, thanks. How did you know tulipies were my favorite? Doesn't matter. But listen. I happen to be the proprietor of a local bed and breakfast right down the street a little ways. If you guys would like to wait while your friends are coming, we could offer up some tea or some coffee or some milk or something. Lemony, lemony, lay, lemony, 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 lemonade, perhaps. You know, that does sound lovely, but actually our friends are already on their way. Hmm, you can never be too safe these days. Oh, what the heck? It's better than sitting in a beat up old car. Will you just give me one second? Sure. Uh, Amy? What the fuck are you thinking? Huh? Just because he gave us some goddamn flowers, you're just gonna go off with him in the middle of the night? He has a trustworthy face. Did you look at the phone? He's a goddamn painted clown, Amy. Okay, you know what? I don't think we have much of a choice here. Brad, Carl, and Tiffany are not gonna be here for another two hours. Well, I'm not going anywhere with that fucking clown. Fine. Then you just stay here. And when Brad, Carl, and Tiffany come, we'll come back and get you. You better be right. It's so indicative of those two to completely complicate my carefully laid out itinerary. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Why do you always have to be such a bitch, Carl? They may be fucking stupid, but you can't fucking blame them for hitting something in the fucking road. You don't need to worry about your itinerary. <laughs> Cause we got plenty of green butter. <laughs> Bradley, do you know what Coach Panther would do to you if he found out you were smoking marijuana cigarettes? Man, fuck Coach Panther. Just do the driving, my friend. <laughs> Been in the family for years, and I'll have you 
know, ladies, that for 25 miles around in any direction, there isn't another establishment just like this. In fact, there isn't even another establishment. We are in the middle of what you'd say nothingness. However, if you do head 15 miles to the north, you'll find a small wooden shed, which is used for growth of marijuana purposes that has nothing to do with us. Here we are. Welcome, ladies. Welcome to the ICP bed and breakfast. Come on inside, I've got someone I'd like you to meet. Let me guess, it's like Freddy, Jason, or Norman. Shh, be nice. Yeah. Right this way, ladies. You guys, please feel free, make yourselves at home. I'm sure your friends will be here to pick you up shortly. We have a wonderful staff here to cater to your every need. I especially want you to meet my brother Shaggy. Hey, Shaggy! 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 <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the hell did you do this for? I was gonna try to fuck this bitch tonight! We've only been here two minutes, mom's gonna kill us! Give me the ball! You ain't getting no ball, get these balls, faggot! Right. Take the ball, but clean the shit up. We're expecting company tonight. Let's go, bitch. I'll take you to the room. Friends don't come easily, and this I know. And every time I make one, they always say they gotta go. I wanna talk with people and look them in the face. I wanna take them home and they can stay at my place. All the talking I can do, I would never lie to you. We take a quick ride and homicide, then I can find you and I can love you. And technically, even though you're dead, you'll always be around me because I'm keeping your head. I keep heads on shelves everywhere in my cellar. I even own the melon of a dead fortune teller. The rotten ones, I keep them up in fat pickle jars. And the new ones, we lay on the lawn and look at stars. It's illegal. I know, but so is smoking weed. And who the fuck give a fuck when you have a need? I collect human heads fresh up off the neck. Face, lips, hair, nose, ears, give me that. Faces, people know more than names. The hair is there and all the brains. Your head would mean so much to me. Your head would mean so much to me. I won't diss you. You want to wear a hat, what? How you want your eyelids open to shut? Your head would mean so much to me. Your head would mean so much to me. Those two always fuck things up. I can't believe we had to come back to get them. Tiffany, what? could you please stop stating the obvious? The faster we get in there and get the girls, we'll all be drinking martinis by midnight. Shut up, Richard Simmons. <laughs> He's fat. I'm not fat. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. Let's go see if they got some free food inside. Is there anyone on the premises? Let's just fucking find them and get to Daytona because this place it creeps me out. All right, we'll split up. Tiffany, you check downstairs. Carl, you take the upstairs. And me, I check out the kitchen.
Sometimes I load them in my bowling bag and bring them to work. Play with their hair under my desk with my bare foot. They're like stuffed animals all over the bed. Human heads, Pam, Jennifer, Hubert, and Ted. I even put one in the shower. Water comes off the mouth. I keep a viewer on the yard when I feel like going on. I blow air in the mouth. Piece of duct tape and shut. Bring them in the pool and the heads will float up. I'm not a sicko. Yo, though I've had girlfriends, I even put their makeup on and take them for a spin. I ain't a murderer like that. Not really. Only heavy Halloween a house. Do look kind of silly. You know the whole Homeless people that be bothering you for change Almost all of my collection from them is where they came I'm not insane about it, it's just the world is too crowded And maybe I'ma do something about the fucking body dirt off your head. Huh? How many times did Ma tell you she wants this shit properly organized so nobody gets I'm hurt? I want the ball. You want the ball? ball. You like the ball? ball. Get the ball. Your head would mean so much to me. Your head would mean so much to me. I need some therapy to help me deal with this shit. Dr. Wiggle Farmer, I need to make a visit. He told me it's a normal, but I gotta brush your teeth. So now I'm brushing four miles at a time using my feet. He also told me to keep them from the dog, but I already knew that. She drew their faces off. And then Dr. Wiggle Farmer asked 
see for a couple. I went into my bag and gave me two like the who trouble. Now I got some therapy, I'm feeling much better. I'm happy forever, me and my premiums together. They all over the house and they roll up on the floor. And if it's got an afro, I use it for a pillow. I'm ill though, I never should have worried anyway. I shoot head hoops and don't care what people say. You can ask Dr. Wiggle Farmer for, for yourself. He's a third head down, top row, third shelf. Faces, people no more. No, me, clown. What? I got game, motherfucker. <laughs> so come on, bozo. What? Bring it. I can fucking take you, man. Bring it, bitch. Come on, you Ronald McDonald piece of shit. What? Come on. Oh, 
much to me. I love driving in the country. It's so good to get away. Problem, folks? <laughs> Friends don't come easily, and this I know. And every time I make one, they always say they gotta go. I wanna talk with people and look them in the face. I wanna take them home and they can stay at my place. All the talking I can do, I would never lie to you. We take a quick ride and homicide, then I can find you and I can love you. And technically, even though you're dead, you'll always be around me because I'm keeping your head. I keep heads on shelves everywhere in my cellar. I even own the melon of a dead fortune teller. The rotten ones, I keep them up in fat pickle jars. And the new ones, we lay on the lawn and look at stars. It's illegal, I know, but so is smoking weed. And who the fuck give a fuck when you have a need? I collect human heads fresh up off the neck. Face, lips, hair, nose, 